I'm Abby Phyllis, and I'm from the Hefner Museum of Natural History at Miami University. Today, let's talk about butterflies. I'm sure you see butterflies in your yard or school all the time, but did you know butterflies can be found all across the world on every continent except Antarctica? These colorful creatures have adapted to just about every climate. From hot deserts to chilly alpine slopes, chances are you'll probably see one. But today, let's check out the place where they are most common, Peru. Peru is home to 3,700 butterfly species. That's more than any other country in the world, and it makes up about 20% of the world population. What makes Peru so special is the vast variety of climates and habitats, including the tropical cloud forest. A tropical cloud forest is found in high elevation and is covered in low-hanging clouds most of the year. Some of the most impressive butterflies from these forests include the cracker butterfly and the blue morpho. Check out those wings. One thing all these butterflies have in common is their perfectly symmetrical patterns. Symmetry is any line splitting a shape into two parts, and those two parts are the same. This is called a line of symmetry. For these two, you could take one half vertically, flip it, and have the same exact wing. This is called bilateral symmetry. Let's take a closer look at the cracker butterfly and see what else we can see. Can you see the repeating pattern here on the edge of the wing? This part of the wing is the border, so it only makes sense that this type of symmetry is also called border symmetry. Check out this middle part on the wing of the blue morpho. This is called the central symmetry system. The eye spots repeat all throughout this section. These eye spots are actually a way to ward off predators. I know I'd think twice about eating something if it had that many eyes. These symmetry systems aren't unique to the butterflies of Peru. They can be found in all sorts of butterflies across the world. Let's try and find the types of symmetry in some more butterflies. What about this one? Look close at the outer part of the wing. Did you guess bilateral symmetry or border symmetry? Because both are true. How about this one? It only has bilateral symmetry. Last one, what do you think of this butterfly? This one has bilateral, central, and border symmetry. Next time you see a butterfly, try and see what type of symmetry you can identify. Will it be bilateral, border, or central? Maybe it's all of the above. Thanks for spending time with me learning about butterflies and symmetry. This video supplements some of the Hefner Museum Discovery Trunk uh, educational kits you may check out for use. See the website miamioh.edu slash Hefner Museum for more information.